Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. We're now going to be doing the last part of issue 18, stage 66 of the Hero Collectors, build the Ecto-1. <laughs> Now this was filmed on a live stream yesterday, has been edited down for you today. Uh, just to let you know, I was really worried about doing uh, <laughs> issue 66 or stage 66, uh, but all we're doing is connecting wires up and matching letters to letters. And as you're about to see, uh, everything goes swimmingly and uh, there's no mistakes pretty much whatsoever. Unlike issue 65 where I made a few mistakes. The first mistake that you pointed out was when I put the um, the actual floor pan, not floor plan, floor pan on, um, I missed the uh, steering column shaft from the hole. Uh, you'll be pleased to see in this picture here, I've done that. So when you do put it on, do make sure the steering column shaft goes through the hole in the dashboard. That was the first mistake I made. Uh, the second mistake is when I was actually attaching the floor pan, uh, I put 12 screws in there. There is actually 13 to put in and I'll put a picture up here to show you which one I've missed. So if you are following along with me, there's one just at the back in the center there to put in. And one other thing that I did earlier on was when I was wiring up all the switches, I did say to you, I couldn't really tell if the blue and the green and blue switches were the right way round. And they're the switches that are labeled C and D. Uh, well, I did actually switch them, so they're the wrong way round. Not gonna make the blindest bit of difference at all, but if you are OCD like me and you want the uh, switches to operate what they're meant to operate, I think it's just a toss up between the horn and the engine noise would be switched. Then all you gotta do is when you plug the switches into the side here uh, from the dashboard, just switch C and D around. It's so simple to fix, but uh, and that will make sure that your switches are correct. But I have put this picture up here just to show you uh, what labels should be where on the dashboard. Now, I didn't have any problems with my electrics, but because of some of the previous builds we've done like the DeLorean and all that uh, the only problem that I can see you having maybe is the brakes if the brakes when you press the brake pedal and the brake lights don't come on chances are the little pins uh, or the little pin switch that we've got in the back there I put a picture on the screen is not making contact I've just bent mine around slightly just so it makes better contact when I push the brake pedal that's just a tip for you if your brake lights don't come on just check that switch in the uh, up by the dashboard there is making contact and connecting it but as you're about to see uh, didn't have any problems at all and it's a lot easier than you think it is so uh, let's start now we have got a whole hickledy pickledy mess of wires now most of them are bulbs from what I can see some of them are switches so these orange ones if I can get one out here I switch oh my god that's long a switches as you can see there now they are spring loaded so you see if I was to try and operate all five at once I've got to keep them down which is going to be a bit of a challenge so I might take uh, the advice there and use use some insulating tape but all we've got to do is just match the letters up to the plugs so X here, I can see that straight away is down this far side here. So let's plug that one in first. So X is going into there. And I'll keep that over there just to keep it tidy. And then just pick the next wire. So this one's got two red LEDs on. And this is R. R is at the back as well. So I'm guessing these are brake lights. And we'll put that one in nice and tight stick that over there next one see this is easy ah this one's a different sort of switch this one is p as you can see it's a flat blade switch this one now p all the flat blade switches at the front here is here uh, and it goes in this way it's a slide fit so there we go that's p in i wonder what that is that might be headlights i'll leave that uh there for a minute Next one, W. This is a switch, and the W, I've just looked at it, it's right in front of me here. So it goes in like that. Oops, make sure the uh, yeah, pins are in the right way. Nice and tight. Next one, another switch, V. V, where is V? It's an orange one. I'm not seeing anything there. Uh, v, ah, there it is, it's at the back. Put that one in. Excellent. Uh, we've got another blade one here, which is, I'm glad we've got the letters on the S. So there must be a letter S, is it that one? It is that one. So we put that in there. Hopefully you can see this. I did move my camera around for that purpose. 
So we've got, oh God, we're getting tangled. Now at the end of this, according to the instructions, this is what we're left with. We're just gonna have to leave the wires scattered around like this. So, O, I can see that straight away, and that's there. Just like that. Uh, another switch, which is T. Is that that one? No, that's U. T. T, that's at the back. Put that one in there. Excellent. Uh, U, was that the one I saw down here? It was. Another switch. <laughs> oh my God, we've got wires coming in the next one as well. Plus, just so you know, we do still have wires left over from the last pack in there, which we don't use in this one. Uh, and Q, Q is the last one, which is uh, Q, 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 Q. Is that it? Yep, Q's at the back. Right. Okay, just check in. Have I put everything in? I'm very nervous. <laughs> everything that I'm meant to plug in, and all the leads I've got, I've got that is plugged in. Right. Okay, so theoretically, when I turn the lights on, I'm going to put these around here now so we can see the lights. Only one light should come on, which is the interior light. And the reason the interior light's going to come on is because all the doors are open because none of these switches are activated. So the power switch is just down here. Turn it on. Uh, turn it on. We got something come on. Oh, wait a minute. So, right, this black lead's come on. No, blue and black. So blue and black's come on. So I'm guessing they are interior lights. So if they're interior lights, I'm gonna stick them in the middle there. Right, now it wants us to test them. So we've got the brake lights, which I'm guessing are these red ones. We'll find out when I press the brake pedal. Ah, we've got two lots of brake lights. So hang on, stand by. So this one and this one here, you see that on camera, the brake light. So when I press the brakes, as you can see, you can't see, those lights come on. Well, that's good. Next, um, headlights. Right, the headlights are operating. I'm going to move the camera around for a second. The, brake, uh, the headlights and the dash light is operated by this button right here. So when I press this, the headlights should come on and the dashboard light. Yes, and there's the headlights. One, two, three, four. We've got headlights on. I'm just gonna see if I can, I'm moving my camera around just so you can see that dashboard. There we go. And there's the dashboard light on as well. I've just noticed that when I've pushed that on, the brake lights come on as well. The brake lights are on. I don't know if that's meant to be like that. If I turn that off, the brake lights go off. Yeah, so the brake lights are also on when that light's on there as well. Okay, the next one, we've got this button here, underneath the dial, operates either the horn or the engine, let's see. It's the engine. And push it again to turn it off. And then the only other one that works, I believe, I don't think any of the radio one works, is the button next to the radio, which should be the horn. Oh, that one works. So I'm going to try the rest of the buttons. Left side radio, nothing. Right side radio. Ah, oh, wicked. So the right side radio works as well. <laughs> right side radio is the siren. So the left side radio is going to be the roof light. Okay, that's good. Right, I'm going to move this camera back. <laughs> look, at, look at the smile I got on my face. That worked brilliantly. Right, okay. So, we're going to try. We've got the... Hang on. Stand by. We've got the roof lights here. One and two. Now, these should turn off when all five of these switches here are turned off. So, we've got two at the front and three at the back. Because, obviously, one of them is going to be the tail here uh, I'm trying to think the best way to do this I'll try and use some masking tape nope 
<laughs> I'm sure this is going to work. Let me. Th this just isn't making contact. This didn't work. It was. It was a good. It was a good thought, but uh, this is where things go wrong now. I need to try and operate all five switches together. So, two in one hand. Oh, two in one hand. And if I press that down to the floor here, that will turn them off. Right, and then try and do all of these with one hand. So all I've got to do is turn this one and they should turn off. Yes! It does work. It's just hard to do because they're not attached to anything. But when you turn all of those switches off, the roof lights go off. The ceiling lights, sorry. So, there we go. I think I've just got to listen to that again. If you if you if you press one of the other switches, it cancels the effect. The only thing that that doesn't do, let me just turn it off now. The only thing that doesn't do is you saw with the brake lights and all the lights on. Now we've got quite a few things at the back which aren't attached to anything, so they're going to be electrics for the future. We've got N, uh, E, J, and L, and at the front here, I'm just checking. At the front. Everything is everything that needs to be connected at the front is connected now, so that's that's all done. Now I don't want to leave it there. I mean, it's looking great with all the wires out, but I do now have the opportunity to fit something that was sent to me by Mike Lane from MikeLaneMods.com. You've seen that before with the hood fence and the carpets for the vehicle. We've also got some front seat back covers, which are absolutely brilliant. A lovely simple thing, which really adds some pop to the uh, to the vehicle. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put Mike Lane Mods link down the bottom there. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? Put that down the bottom there. You can go over to that. He's also been working on. Some carpets for the rear for the jump seat area and a vent for there as well. But head over to Mike Lane's site and you'll be able to see that for yourself. But uh, these are these front seat back covers. Now I've had this for a while, but I haven't done anything about it. And that is the uh, the back the seat backs here. As you can see, we've got lots of um, screws and where we put this in. And uh, even though it's hidden by this bulkhead here, uh, Mike Lane did come up with a uh, fix for it, which are these. Now these look just like this they're just flat they're already on sticky here and as you can see you've got the indents a bit of a hair on there on here so it's pretty easy to put them in i'm guessing and all they do is they just fit on the back here so uh i'll slide one in and there we go it's it is funny how such a little thing can make such a big impact i mean i know you're not really going to see this but it certainly does make it a lot more tidier. Pushing that in there. And there you go. That's the seat backs in. Looking absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Now I think the challenge here is how I'm going to store this with the wires. It's looking a bit messy now and that's playing havoc with my OCD but I've put them just on top of the vehicle now and I'll put that back up onto the shelf there. We'll be able to uh, keep that safe until the next issue. Now the next issue, issue 19, I believe might be on its way. I've had notification that I've got a shipment coming from Eagle Moss and Hero Collector so you never know uh, there might be some more of these next week but we'll have to see when that happens. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe. If you want to get this for yourself once again I've put the link down here for the Hero Collector and Eagle Moss website. If you're in the US follow the US link and if you're in the UK follow the UK link you can get this all the way from pack one and start the build with me. Other than that Take care.